Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessing Foundry. Today's reading is a daily reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you to help you through your day and to help you on your soul's journey. Spirit, please connect with the Pisces Collective and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their daily walk at the time they view this video. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? Okay, so we start off with three messages. Let's see what's going on. Let's get these cards back into order. The first three messages we have is the Ten of Cups, your emotional contentment and fulfillment, really focusing on what makes you happy. This is also a card about family, about coming together with family and happy family times. Then we have the moon Pisces energy. The Ten of Cups is also water energy. With the moon card, we have Pisces energy. And we see something that may be obscured by darkness. The next card we have is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is a card about communication, messages coming through in hours or days. So you could have a message coming through that helps to reveal some information or brings cl new clarity to you. What other messages for Pisces, please? Okay, and that's a lot, but we're gonna take them. Let's see what's going on here. It might be a long reading. This is a real lot. Okay, so this goes here and that goes here and here. All right, so let's scooch these over and make some room. And we have the world. The next card coming out indicates success, fulfillment, completion. Then we have the star, Aquarius energy, aligning and healing. With the king of swords, king of swords, masculine air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. You may be dealing with somebody who has those energies in your chart, or you may have those in your chart. Then we have the queen of wands, feminine fire energy, Libra, Leo, Leo. Aries and Sagittarius. We're just going to go through and see what messages we have and then we'll go into them in more detail. Then we have the Two of Wands coming out. This is about a decision, a choice. You have the world at your in your hands and the world before you at your feet. But we have some type of lack energy that's coming in. Some type of hardship is being shown. But you're going to rise above this and bring an end to the hardship. Bring an end to the enduring pain. Enduring suffering will be coming to an end. So these three cards really are showing that there's an end. You're standing up for yourself and, and you're standing up for yourself and rising above the con not the conflict, the, the lack energy, and that's coming to an end. The end is Scorpio energy as well. Let's dive into this and see what's going on. Spirit, what is this ten of cups for Pisces? Why do we have this ten of cups here? Why is this Ten of Cups here for Pisces? And then we have the Page of Pentacles. So I'm feeling a happy new offer or message is going to be coming in for you, Pisces. The pages are messengers. Pentacles are about tangible things. So a tangible message coming in for you. What is this moon for Pisces? I, I feel at the center of your reading, we have the King of Swords and Queen of Wands. So I feel that that might be influences on your current energy. And here we have, you're going to overcome any type of darkness that you're going through. You're going to also see clearly through what is obscured. What is this Page of Swords for Pisces? What is this Page of Swords? Thank you. And we have the Fool. So you're definitely cutting through the darkness, overcoming the darkness and going towards something new, taking a bold leap of faith. Now the Page of Swords is a message coming through and I feel it's going to lead you to a new beginning where you're going to be able to close out one cycle and start a new cycle. What is this world for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about this world? Please show us clearly, thank you. And here for the world, we're getting the Ten of Cups coming out for the second time in your reading. So it's really going to be a joyous thing for you to be able to put down 
Well, it's not a burden, but to see clearly, there was something obscured. And we're seeing that what is what was obscured is, is going to be revealed and you're going to be able to take a bold leap of faith forward into something much better. What is the star for Pisces? For the star, we're getting the five of cups. So this is about realigning yourself and moving forward out of a disappointment. Something may not have worked out for you and that's because it was not in alignment for you. So we're seeing the energy coming forward here of you coming into alignment with something that's much better for you. What is this King of Swords, please? Why do we have the King of Swords here, please, Spirit? And here for the King of Swords, it could be related to your material world or your career or job. And what is this Queen of Wands? Why do we have the Queen of Wands here? Two cards for the Queen of Wands. The first one is the King of Swords. So I feel there's, yeah, there's definitely other people influencing something that's going on. I feel behind the scenes, something that's obscured. It could be that you're waiting on a decision. Yes, I'm, I'm feeling here strongly for some of you. You're waiting on a decision to be made. I'm hearing authorization. What is this Two of Wands for Pisces? And that King of Swords could be that decision. Yes, absolutely. So you're waiting on a decision or authorization in order for the Wheel of Fortune to turn forward for positive change to occur here. What is this Five of Pentacles for Pisces? For the Five of Pentacles, we're getting the Ten of Swords. So it's the end. As we saw with the, as we saw with the Death card, you have the end coming of a situation of lack, of difficulty, of struggle. And what is the Seven of Wands, please, Spirit? What do we need to know about the Seven of Wands? For the Seven of Wands, another message coming through. So we have the Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Page of Wands. This is a time where you could be getting multiple messages. And what is this Death card for Pisces, please? Why do we have the, okay, and we have the Moon. Yes, yeah, so this is the end of something being obscured. We're going, I'm going to dive into this moon now with another card or another deck and see if we can find out what has been obscured. Spirit, what is this moon card, please? Why do we have the moon card here? And we have the moon card twice. It's, what is this moon for Pisces? What do we need to know about this moon? And we have the world. One more card for this moon. The moon, moon and world coming out twice. So this is related to your security and your stability, maybe even related to family. But you're going, something was obscured regarding financial obligations. I'm hearing some, maybe even a contract or not, not necessarily a contract, but an agreement of some type. Spirit, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. And we're just going to do a, a quick reading today. Spirit, one card for the overall energy. Thank you. And for the overall energy, we're getting patience. So this is the card of temperance. This is also Sagittarius energy. But let's get, actually, let's get one more card for the overall energy here. One more card for the overall energy. I feel you've been patiently waiting for a message or a decision to come through. And then we see the Ace of Wands coming through. A new beginning is dawning. So you've, you've really been patiently waiting for this new beginning, for the Wheel of Fortune to turn on your behalf so you could take a bold leap of faith in a new direction towards increased security, increased, increased finances, maybe a new job, spirit, maybe even a new relationship. The Ten of Pentacles can indicate commitment. What is this one... Herb Oracle for the overall energy or overall message of this reading, please. One Herb Oracle for this reading, please, Spirit. Let's shuffle this way. One Herb Oracle for Pisces, please, Spirit. Show them clearly. Thank you. And here for your Herb Oracle, we're having decision. So this is what we're talking about, Pisces, is there is a decision that's being made and I feel you're not the one that's making it, but it's going to significantly impact you. One fortune oracle for Pisces, please. Okay, shuffle this way as well. One fortune oracle for Pisces for this reading, please. Spirit, show us clearly what Pisces needs to see. 
I feel this decision is being made now or will be made. Let's, I'm going to ask, I'll get another deck and ask when this decision is going to be made. I'm hearing soon, but soon doesn't really tell us it, Jack. So here we have Cracker, as in Firecracker, positive energy surrounds you, love, joy, and good fortune away. And then we have goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. Okay, so before we pull in angel answers, I'm going to pull um, timing of this decision, please, Spirit. What is the timing of this decision that's going to be made regarding Pisces? What is the timing of the decision that's going to be made regarding Pisces? And let's see. So we have the Ace of Cups. So this is now. So the Ace of Cups is a card of showing now. We have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups coming out. The Cups are water energy, also Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So I'd say between now and Scorpio season, there's going to be a decision that's made and Scorpio, the Scorpio, that's a weird way of saying it. And Scorpio season, I believe is October to November, mid October to mid November, but don't quote me on that. Spirit one angel answers for Pisces for this reading. Yeah, I'm hearing a big decision. Uh, this is going to impact your life and take action. So we're seeing that there is a decision, Pisces, that's being made that concerns you. It There is good fortune surrounding you, and we do see that your goals will be achieved. We see new beginnings forming, but it is required for you to take action, maybe to double check on the energies or to contact a person who is in the position of decision making. We have the King of Swords twice and the King Queen of Wands. So I feel, and they're at the heart of your reading. So I'm feeling that there's a decision that's very much dependent upon finances or career or, or some type of an adjustment. Let's actually get one card for this Knight of Pentacles. One card for this Knight of Pentacles, please, Spirit. And we have two coming out. So what is this Knight of Pentacles? We have the Hangman and the Knight of Cups. So it's it, there was a delay in making some type of offer or opportunity, but we see that moving forward because a new decision is going to be made and it's going to bring you to the end of something that has been obscured or something that has not been brought to the light of day. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. It's kind of short and sweet. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a reading or not, but I figured, you know, I'd get one out to you. So this is what we have. And you know, I, I'm picking up the primary message here is that there's a decision that's being made regarding you and it's going to significantly impact your life and the direction of where you're going. You're going to end up coming out of a disappointment um, and, and going into a realignment of your energy. This is the message I have for you and I wish you the very best. God bless.